In this project, we're going to create a simple blackjack game, or at least the start of it, and we'll get the students to, to finish off the rest of it. So we're going to create a new project, file, new project. When it pops up, we're going to select an app. If you're in an older version, it might say single view app. Um, it's just a, a blank template, so click next, uh, give it a name, call my blackjack 2020. Uh, we're going to use storyboard interface, not Swift UI, uh, and the language, of course, is Swift as well. Next, I'm just going to put one on my desktop. And then once this loads up, we'll have our base level project. We'll have our main storyboard. Again, waiting for that one to load. And then we'll also have our view controller. Uh, which is linked to that main control. So this is the, the base level code. So we're just going to, first of all, set up uh, our application. So I like to build mine as a second generation SE, just because when I build my project, it means I have a home button, just makes it a little bit easier to navigate. So I changed uh, the simulator when it builds to build with an SE as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to my object library, so the little plus button at the top here. I'm gonna add in a button and I'm going to add in two image views. Okay, so at first we're just gonna compare the values of two cards and then we'll manipulate the game to become uh, blackjack eventually. Uh, so I've got one there, I'm gonna create a second one here. Okay, so I've got my two button, uh, my two image views and I've got my button, uh, which I'll call uh, press me at the moment. Okay, so let's make some outlets for these. So I go to this list icon, select Assistant Editor. Okay, and let's create some outlets for these two images. So Control, drag inside my class. I want it to be an outlet. I'm gonna call this uh, image uh, card one. And then get this some space. Do the same for the other. Remember, you can always drag from this top view as well. If you can't see this, it's this little button here which uh, hides and shows it. So the control and drag. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to drag from there. And call this image card two. Okay, so now I've got my two images. I'm also going to create an IB action for my button as well. This will give me an action for when I press my button to actually do something. So control, drag. I want an action for this. I call this BTN. Uh, I'm going to call it Deal. Okay, so now I have my outlets. Um, I have my image views. The last thing I'm going to do, so there is a, a link provided at the bottom, um, but it's also in course materials for my students um, to get all of the cards. So if I go to my assets, you can download all the card images. So I'm just going to bring it up here called iOS cards. I'll select all of those. I'm going to drag it into my assets. Cool, and this will give me all of my cards. Their names specifically because we're going to do some string manipulation to make sure that the right card shows at the right time. But I do have these backing cards as well. So just to finish off this video, uh, we're going to select my image view and I'm going to set the image to card back let my image to card back. Okay, so, so far we have a little bit of room here. Close that one. Okay, so, so far we have our new project. We have our card image views and we have a button and we've also set up the outlets and the IV actions ready to start coding.